terribly, terribly sorry for that, guys. For the um, uh, the uh, the delay that we've had, it was because of uh, RE Central decided to crash, and then all hell seemed to break loose. But we finally got it going. Hello, guys, and welcome to the end of season test here at uh, Abu Dhabi. I am uh, JWF1, and we are here to kick things off with the top class end of season test, and uh, it's hopefully going to be very interesting to see what what sort of things happen. During this end of season test, in fact, I'm going to quickly switch to 2G because 5G started to have another meltdown, it appears. So, uh, hopefully it doesn't go briefly off. Uh, it didn't last time. There you go. Um, so, again, guys, I apologise for everything that um, that happened uh, during the uh, previously. But we're here for the top class uh, pre season test. And it's an hour session with the return of the TV graphics. And uh, we will be going through the drivers in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, bright and sunny conditions here at uh, Abu Dhabi. And just the, uh, I think, uh, was there any news flashes to report on? I uh, don't think there is. Well, apart from uh, El Dorado, of course, El Dorado will be running a, brand, a special livery for today as a result of the death of former uh, Fiat and Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchionne. So they're running a tribute on that car. So, and uh, of course, British Airways Racing, uh, Monster Grand Prix, as they formerly known now. First time the team will be known as British Airways Racing are here this weekend, and they're hoping to do well uh, within the test as they can. So, before we start then, let's quickly have a look and see what the drivers look like for today's, um, for today's end of season test. And here they are on your screen right now. So for Etihad Racing, you're going to be seeing Daniel Ricciardo and Lewis Hamilton, Bud Light Lime, have Sam Bird and Sergio Perez, uh, El Dorado, Felix Rosenquist and Charles Leclerc over at uh, EMR, Sebastian Vettel and Alexander Alban over at Suomi, Kimi Raikkonen and Heike Kovalainen, followed by from GRM we have jean Verne and Antonio Felix da Costa, and then for, uh, for, for British Airways Racing as they're known for today, we'll be having Scott Dixon and Rubens Barrichello, their lineup for next season. Uh, AMP, you'll be seeing Mick Schumacher and Ralph Aaron. Martini, George Russell and Antonio Giovinazzi. Over at Shadow, you'll be seeing Jensen Button and Carlos Sainz Jr. And over at Mars Grand Prix, you'll be seeing Joseph Newgarden and Marcus Armstrong. So, they are there then, the drivers and teams for the end of season test. It should be quite interesting to see. And as mentioned, we've got bright and sunny conditions. Uh, so, I think without further ado then, guys, I've rambled on for a little bit. Let's get to the hour uh, end of season test for IFMC this season. Just trying to get rid of that, um, that sound arrow a little bit there. So, here we are then in the pit lane. And... Um, we're going to go to the end of the pit lane with Alexander Alban, so we'll wait and get the session underway. It is a one-hour session, of course, in this end-of-season test, and we also have the return of TV graphics, as you can see on your screen right now, including the speedo and those little things down the uh, the bottom there, including tyre wear and, uh, of course, pit setup and all that sort of good stuff. So, uh, anyway, we will wait for the cars to go out onto the track. And uh, just wait for somebody, just keep an eye in the mirrors, just to see if anybody will be coming out on the track at this point. And um, so let's wait and see uh, what what will happen. As uh, I think we've got a car coming out. Yes, we do. It's an EMR, and that would be Sebastian Vettel, because we were riding with Alban. So Vettel is coming out on the track as he now heads in towards the underneath uh, bridge. Uh, sorry, the underneath part, which it goes... Uh, crossing over the track it seems I apologize for the encoding messages there I don't know why I've been getting those recently clearly me uh, me CPU is a bit uh, on fire at the minute uh, I do apologize for that but we have Vettel uh, out on the track at the minute as he just goes around the chicane uh, Sebastian Vettel now then just going around the left under on the track and uh, as he just goes down the straight now then Vettel out on the track. We also have Rubens Barrichello out there as well. So it's good to see Barrichello in the series for next season. Uh, we also have Antonio Felix da Costa out there as well. As is Sergio Perez, George Russell, uh, Carlos Sainz Jr. is out on the track. As is Charles Leclerc. We also have Alexander Albin, uh, Heike Kovalainen, Mick Schumacher coming out uh, on the track as well. As is Mick Schumacher, Jensen Button coming out there as well. As is Daniel Ricciardo, uh, Scott Dixon, Ralph Aaron. And that's that. They are, I think that's 14 cars that are currently out on the track uh, at the minute. 
and uh, I do apologise there for RE Central there. RE Central just deciding to uh, have a little bit of a technical fault, and I'm still getting encoding issues there. Clearly, my CPU is running a bit uh, on fire at the minute. Let me see if I if I can do this. It is running a bit hot. This laptop is, so that's probably why we've got encoding issues at the moment. I uh, never had these sorts of issues for a while encoding. As uh, uh, Vettel now then comes up towards the final two turns on the track, and. Uh, just trying to see if I can try and sort this out if I can these encoding issues uh, so Barry Keller we're in the cockpit with now then uh, for some reason it stops whenever I go in the cockpit so they're uh, quite odd um, and uh, uh, I'm still having these encoding problems um, as uh, Vettel just goes around the right hander there then heading down towards the bus stop chicane and uh, he's just going around the section of corners and uh, so around the left hander then goes Sebastian Vettel. I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to sort out these encoding problems as best as possible. Uh, so let's just see, shall we, what I can do uh, for that. Um, let's have a look, shall we. Uh, let's uh, see if I can try and uh, reduce the amount of... Um, CPU usage there. Let's see if that will do anything in terms of the encoding. As Vettel now then comes down towards. No, we still got these issues. Um, that's why you're probably seeing some stuttering on the screen at the moment, guys. I do not understand what's going on at the moment. I've not had these issues for a long time, so just keep an eye on Vettel there on the left hand side as I try and sort these out. I have no idea why we're having these issues. Um, so. Um, Uh, my CPU is just having a little bit of a nightmare at the moment, it must be said. And uh, so Vettel now then, just coming around the final corner. Let's see what he's able to do as he goes down the pit straight and across the line he will go. And it is a 1 minute 35.031. Uh, Rubens Barrichello just coming around the final corner himself. Let's see what he's able to produce. And Barrichello then crosses the line and goes second fastest for the moment. De Costa then slots to second with that lap. Uh, Perez now then, P2 for him, here comes George Russell as he will now cross the line and that's P3 for the Martini uh, Carlos Sainz, P2 for him, Charles Leclerc now then uh, just going down the pit straight and Leclerc goes into second place I think the encoding has now stopped now it seems Albon fourth now then, here comes Heike Kovalainen uh, so he just goes around the final corner, let's see what Kovalainen can do and as I say that the encoding has come back uh, I do apologise for that. As Kovalainen goes fourth with that lap. Schumacher now then going down the pit straight. And Schumacher goes fastest by 900ths of a second. Of course, AMP are running the Mercedes engine today. Mar uh, Mars running the Ferrari engine today. Uh, so don't think that this is the uh, pecking order for next season. It ain't. Obviously, this is the last time we're running V12s in this uh, uh, today as well. Because uh, IFMC is moving to the... Obviously, the V12s are moving to next season. And uh, we're obviously getting rid of the V10s after today. As uh, Vettel then currently second. And I'm still having encoding trouble. Um, uh, medium there then. Uh, I'm trying everything guys. And nothing seems to be working. Uh, at the moment my, uh, my CPU seems to be on, having a nightmare it seems. So... Um, I'm sorry if you keep on seeing that all the time. I'm doing everything in my power to try and sort this out. Uh, but nothing appears to be working for me at this stage. Um, um, I don't know what to do at this stage. The encoding problems just seem to be getting worse for me at this stage. Um, it's probably because of how hot it is in here, probably. Um, let me see if I can... Uh, just um, trying to do something, James. I think me uh, my computer needs cooling a bit. So, as you see, we've got uh, some cars finish. Obviously, finished up a little earlier. Here's Ralph Aaron just going around the quadruple uh, right under there. Then, and I'm still having these encoding issues. Um, 
in towards the section of course Aaron in fact looking to get past Schumacher it seems quite oddly and that's why Schumacher's got a problem it seems so Schumacher has throttle problems so that's not a good start for AMP considering they've got Merck engines in the back of them today so not a good start for AMP and Schumacher coming back into the pits to um, to get these problems repaired and uh, that's that really as far as they are concerned as uh, Alexander Albin did another lap here with the 14 guys that have done a lap it's Schumacher from Vettel, Leclerc uh, and then it is um, Leclerc and then Sainz followed by Kovalainen, Albin, Ricardo, Button, Dixon and then it is Perez, Russell, Ocon, Aaron and Barry Kello so that's how that looks at this stage, as uh, Aaron Alban now then just goes around the section of course, and they call him Aaron there. Aaron's the one in the AMP. Uh, so they are the 14 that have done a lap so far, and we look wait for another set of cars to come out in the form of Antonio Giovinazzi, of course. Now, Martini are running Ferrari today. That's because, uh, even though they are ditching them at the end of the year, they haven't confirmed which engine supplier they're going to be running with for next season. So that's why they've kept hold of the Ferrari engine just for today. Uh, but hopefully during the off-season, we'll be able to hear what engine the team will be running next season. And uh, a lot of rumours suggesting that they could be returning back to the Audi engine for next season. Others have said they could adopt, uh, maybe bring back Renault next season. They could even look for a different engine as well. It's going to be interesting to see what Martini run next season when IFMC moves to the V12s. And uh, as you can see, Jervan actually out on track. And as you can see, they've got back the uh, the censored cigarette, the censored alcohol sponsorship because of the UAE strict laws when it comes to alcohol. And so that's why they're wearing that. Same with Bud Light Lime. That's why they, instead of green, it's black for this weekend. Like we saw two weeks ago at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix when we were here, where Lewis Hamilton actually clinched the driver's championship as well. So interesting in that regard. As Giovinazzi now then just goes around the section of quarters. I'm going to click OK to see if it stops. And um, there we go then. So I think the encoding problems have now officially stopped. I do apologise for that a little early. If they do come back, I will try and sort it out during the stream. But Giovinazzi about to start a lap. Also on the track, we have Marcus Armstrong in the Mars Grand Prix car. Also, we have Sam Bird, Felix Rosenquist, and this is the tribute livery that El Dorado are showing for this weekend in memory of Sergio Marchione. They've got a big Ferrari logo on the car as well, El Dorado. And as you can see on the side as well, it's got Sergio Marchione, 1952-2018. Uh, he was he has been a big loss for F1 considering that he has t transformed Ferrari around even if you're not a big Ferrari fan you have to admit uh, well two things one it's a sad day for the sport and secondly uh, that he was the reason why Ferrari are now back at the front of the field uh, because I think without him I think Ferrari would still be around about that pace that they were in 2014 just struggling to get to grips with the V6 era so uh, you have a lot of credit for Sergio and it's a shame that he's no longer with us um, and it's kind of a shame as well that in real life it's looking less likely now that Leclerc will be at Ferrari because Marchione was the reason why Leclerc would have gone to Ferrari next year but now it's looking like it's going to be Reichen considering the new CEO John I forgot his last name now uh, wants consistency within the team so that would indicate that they're obviously going to be keeping Raikkonen in for next season uh, Giovinazzi one tenth down in the second sector Mars of course are running the same engines as what Martini are running so not necessarily the same Ferrari engines as what the others have got uh, Martini obviously not developing as much during the season as well of course they have said that they were saving money during the season to try and go for an attack for the championship next season and that is where with their hope and with a strong lineup next season in the form of Verstappen and Giovinazzi uh, anything is possible really you have to say as Gio now then just goes around the left hander and let's see what the Italian can manage then as he just goes around these final two turns on the track now then into the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Antonio Giovinazzi and what's the time going to be for the Italian and why am I doing that I don't need to do that it's P5 for Antonio Giovinazzi uh, so here comes Mick Schumacher, he's, sorry, Marcus Armstrong, that's sick for him, 17th for Sam Bird, here comes Felix Rosenquist in the El Dorado, he's obviously going to be driving for Mars Grand Prix next season after winning the GP2 title and he goes four fastest in the El Dorado, so a good time from him and uh, the team is still called Monster Mercedes as you can see. Uh, on the dash there, I think I forgot to change the names of them there, but they are called BAR Mercedes for this weekend, so I do apologise for that. Uh, so you will see that on the uh, graphics later on when I put the results up. 
Uh, so New Garden, meantime, goes fastest in the Mars Grand Prix car with a 1 minute 34.914. Raikkonen starts the second, two thousandths back from him now then. Vern crosses the line, P19 uh, for him. Alexander Albin uh, has just started a lap as it's only 7th for Lewis Hamilton that time by. So P7 for the defending champion. Uh, well, the new champion, I should say. As uh, I think you can hear my, uh, my voice start to echo a little bit. That's probably because of the fan. Uh, let, let me see if I can just turn it around now. I think I've just let me uh, my computer cool down now. It seems as Perez starts a lap, and uh, here comes Sebastian Vettel now then into the final two turns. And you might have noticed that the um, that it looks like the text might have faded a little bit. That's because I've had to reinstall Grand Prix Free recently because uh, had some because uh, of the issues I had with the uh, IndyCar template, and I will go into details in that a little bit later uh, because of the news I broke yesterday regarding IFMC IndyCar. Uh, here comes Jensen Button now then in the Shadow Mercedes. He will be driving for Shadow in GP3 next season in a swap deal with Bird, uh, who was the test driver for Shadow. So it does give the indication that Bird will be a test driver for Bud Light Lime and Button will be a test driver for Shadow next season. That's looking to be the case. Uh, Sam Bird now then, uh, speaking of which, is crossing the line and remains 22nd without laps. So still not been able to get a good lap in. Uh, at this stage now then, here comes Scott Dixon, uh, he's currently on another lap, Dixon currently in, where is he in the moment, 15 for the moment in the British Airways racing car, and this is their testing livery of course, it's not their official livery, their testing livery, Dixon now then heading down the pitch straight and across the line goes the keyway, and he does not improve with that lap, he remains in 15th place. Uh, for the moment there then. Here comes Alexander Albin who rounds the final two turns and let's see where the EMR can place himself around the final turn and onto the pitch straight goes Albin as he will now cross the line and what can Alexander Albin do? He does not improve and remains in 12th place for the moment in the EMR at this stage. Sergio Perez on a lap. Perez currently in uh, 16th place. Let's see if he can try and improve on that lap around the second to last turn and then up towards the final corner goes Sergio Perez as he now heads down the pit straight and Checo will now cross the line as uh, he crosses the line no improvement for Perez and he remains in uh, in 16th place for the moment only just not able to improve at this stage of testing as we have just over 47 minutes of this end of season test remaining Albin currently on a little lap so while we're viewing Albin on this lap now then let's just get over that news flash that I went over yesterday in that uh, sadly due to issues uh, we uh, will be using the 2015 car shape for IFMC IndyCar and not the 2018 one uh, the reason for this is because this is an issue I've never come across before with a car shape at all uh, but clearly this one it decided to be this issue for some reason whenever I incorporated the 2018 car shape or any of the free car shapes that are available for 2018 onto the game uh, for some reason it just crashed my game completely and I tried to just import it onto the actual game itself and that just completely killed my game which is why I had to reinstall it as I mentioned uh, over the, over the, overnight uh, but uh, thankfully I've managed to get that sorted but um, yeah it was a little bit of a scare so unfortunately I've had to come to the conclusion that this 2018 car shape just doesn't work uh, for Grand Prix 3, clearly the modder has clearly not worked on it properly and it's still broken. So uh, that's why we'll be switching to the 2015 car shape instead. Not the one we had in the first season, which was the 2014 car shape. It will be the 2015 car shape, you know, the one with the pods on it instead. Although not visible with these cars and only a, not that much of a difference. There is a slight little tweak with the car's car shape for next season. Uh, in terms of templates, you don't need to worry. I'm not asking you to create a new temp... Uh, some new liveries for the template I'm asking to just keep the templates because it doesn't really affect the look of the car when I put it on the game so don't worry about that at all guys if that's what you're wondering but we've got a few more cars out on the track at the moment uh, we've got um, well, a few more cars just coming out of pit lane Sainz is out on the track uh, who else we've we got out there? We've got Russell, we've got De Costa out there as well. Uh, Mick Schumacher out on the track as well, as is Charles Leclerc. Uh, Rubens Barrichello out on the track for British Airways Racing. Ralph Aaron out there, as is Daniel Ricciardo, the man who won at his home event last week at the Pacific Grand Prix in Adelaide. And uh, of course, this is this. Um Trying to think how many times he's been in the Etihad this season. He did quite a bit in the preseason, and uh, I think he might have, have done one in the mid-season test as well. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, Ricardo out on the track, looking to get some mileage in for Etihad before next season. 
Uh, Alexander Alban out on the track as well. We also have Carlos Sainz Jr. Uh, Felix Rosenquist and George Russell is on a lap. In fact, uh, Armstrong Bird. Uh, De Costa's up on, uh, on the rest of the pack by 200 a second in the first sector. As you just said there, Schumacher on a lap. And there we are then. So let's get back to Russell if we can. Uh, or is it Sainz, in fact, we need to look at it. Sainz, in fact. Sainz 400 down in the second sector. Sainz currently in eighth. So, in fact, Carlos looking at an improvement on this lap but let's wait and see if that can materialize as he will now come up towards the triple right hander on the track so at the moment this is what the leaderboard looks like it's new gone fastest Raikkonen in second vettel third schumacher fourth leclerc fifth rosenquist sixth hamilton seventh signs in eighth giovanazzi in ninth armstrong tenth kovalai in eleventh followed by alban 12th ricardo 13th button 14th dixon 15th Perry 16th russell 17th costa 18th aaron 19th verstappen 20 sorry uh, vernie 20th barry keller 21st and bird in 22nd position. So that's how that looks. Signs now then coming down the pitch straight. Let's see what the Spaniard can do. And he improves but remains in 8th place. So he lost quite a bit of time in the last set. But still able to improve on his lap. Here's George Russell then in the Martini. As he will now approach the final two turns. Can he improve from his dreadful 17th place at the moment. The whole pack only separated by 1.036 of a second. So very close indeed it must be said. Russell coming out of the final turn. And let's see what the GP2 runner-up can manage. Russell crosses the line and goes up to 9. So Ro Russell outpaces Giovinazzi to get up into P9 at this stage. Uh, Bird currently on the lap. Here comes De Costa. Can he try and get to the top? He was quicker earlier, but he's lost a lot of time, it seems, and only 18th with that lap. Schumacher remains in 4th place for the moment. Here comes Charles Leclerc into the final two turns. He goes on the track. And let's see what the Monegas can manage. As he goes down the pit straight. And Leclerc across the line he will go. And he goes up to third with that lap. So a good time from Leclerc. And uh, the Eldorado doing a good job. Barry Kello goes up to 19th. A good time for him. Aaron remains in 20th with that lap. Here comes Daniel Ricciardo. Can he try and get the Etihad onto the top? And no he can't. But he improves on his best time and goes up into 6th place. So that's how, how that stands for Daniel Ricciardo. Here comes Kimi Raikkonen. He's about to start lapping a little bit. Uh, here's Rosenquist who's up on his per who's up at the moment. He's got a green, well I should say purple middle sector it should be uh, for Felix Rosenquist as he now just goes around the left hander on the track. And Rosenquist now then just going around the uh, the double right hander and, well the triple right hander and that's definitely wrecked his time now. Rosen Rosenquist pushing a tad bit too hard it seems. And as a result, locking up, and that's probably cost him a chance of topping the session there. So Rosenquist showing there's a little bit more to come out of the car, but um, clearly locking up like that will not help at all uh, at this stage. Now then, Rosenquist coming down the pitch straight. Let's see how much time he lost because of that heavy lockup. And he didn't improve by five tenths of a second from Newgarden. In terms of his own time, he's lost three tenths to his personal best at this stage. Here comes Marcus Armstrong. Armstrong currently 12th at the moment. As he makes his way around the final turn. Onto the pitch straight he goes. And across the line goes the Kiwi. And he remains 12th uh, with that lap. Sam Bird across the line. And he goes up to 10th. So P10 for Sam Bird on that lap. Uh, so De Costa meantime doesn't improve. Remains 19th. Vern remains in last place for the moment. Schumacher remains in, uh, in 5th place. So still P5 for Mick. Here comes uh, Ralph Aaron now then as he approaches the final two turns on the track as we've got the encoding problems again. Uh, here comes Aaron now then. Around the final turn and onto the pit straight we go. And let's see what he's able to produce as he will now cross the line. Obviously he's just crossed the line and Aaron remains in... Um, where is he at the moment? Remains in 21st position at this stage. So... Here comes Giovinazzi about to start a lap himself. And um, as he just goes in towards these final few turns uh, on the track now then. As uh, Raikkonen now then just going into these section of corners. And let's see if Raikkonen can improve upon his second place at the moment. Into the final two turns goes Kimi Raikkonen. And let's see what the Finn is able to produce. Raikkonen heading down the pitch straight now then he goes and Raikkonen crosses the line and he remains second with that lap there then so no improvement for Kimi Raikkonen at this stage as here comes Marcus Armstrong as he will now approach the right hander into the left he goes and 
Armstrong now then is about to finish his lap in a little bit as he just comes out of the left hander up towards the final two turns goes Marcus Armstrong and coming up towards the final corner then goes the Kiwi as he will head down the pit straight and across the line goes Armstrong and he crosses the line and he does not improve he remains where he is at the moment which is P13 at this stage of testing as we look at Gio now then we're just over 40 minutes to go here is what the leaderboard looks like it's new gone fastest followed by Raikkonen in second Leclerc third Vettel fourth Schumacher fifth Ricardo in sixth followed by Rosenquist seventh Hamilton in eighth and then it is uh, signed in ninth Bird in tenth followed by Rosenquist eleventh Giovinazzi twelfth Armstrong thirteenth followed by Kovalainen in fourteenth position and it's Albon fifteenth Button 16th, Dixon 17th, Perez in 18th, followed by Ocon in, sorry, De Costa in 19th, and then it is Barrichello 20th, Aaron in 21st, and Verne in 22nd position. Giovinazzi now then comes up towards the final two turns. Let's see what the Italian can manage as he will go down the pitch straight. And across the line then goes the Italian. And can he improve on his lap? He doesn't. He remains P12 for the moment in this session. So that's that for him. Joseph Newgon, the man who's currently at the top, is about to start a lap. Here comes Jensen Button around the right-hander. He's also about to start one, as is uh, as his new champion, Lewis Hamilton. Uh, Newgon then will look at who's currently on a lap. Nobody else is currently on one at this stage. As now Newgon heads down towards the bus stop. And he's going pe better than his personal best in the first sector. But let's see if he can try and keep it up in the last two sectors of the track now. Then Newgarden then round the left-hander in an unfamiliar situation that Mars were in this season, of course. Uh, well, Newgarden was showing promise in the preseason test. But that's before Porsche decided to decline. And clearly... Uh, with Ferrari, uh, it's definitely uh, turned a corner in their pace. Next season, of course, Mars will be having the Red Bull Academy lineup from season four in of Felix Rosenquist, who's currently competing for Eldorado today, and George Russell, who's competing for Martini uh, today as well. So, very interested to see what Mars Grand Prix can do for next season. As uh, New Gun now then approaches the second sector, and he's up again. By six hundreds of a second, so New Gun could improve. It all depends on how he hooks up the last sector. Remember, Rosenquist was looking quick a little earlier on, but he made a massive lockup into the triple right-hander before approaching the hotel section. And this is where New Gun is, in fact, coming up towards round the triple right-hander. He goes, and no mistake from the American, the man that just missed out on the IFMC GP3 title this past season. Doing a good job at the moment. The last time he'll be seeing the Mars Grand Prix cars, he's moving to Etihad next season as a test driver. And uh, Oliver, it's unknown whether New Gun will actually get a drive. There's only one more seat left in the form of Bud Light Line Motorsport, but we still believe that's going to be Grosjean that's going to take that place for next season. As New Gun now then will cross the line, and he improves, but only by 18 thousandths of a second. So he's now 200 clear from Kimi Raikkonen in this session. Here comes Rubens Barrichello, who heads down the pit straight himself. And he just starts his lap now. Then Sergio Perez about to start a lap himself. As uh, Dixon about to start one. Here's, Ruben, here's Jensen Button currently holding up Alexander Albon, it appears, uh, on his lap. As they will now approach the final corner. And let's see what Jensen Button can do as he goes down the pit straight. And across the line goes JB. And he does not improve. Remains where he is at this stage. Albon starting a lap. And uh, Albon looked like he got held up. Here's Lewis Hamilton. Can he try and get to the top? Of the time sheets, the Etihad driver crosses the line, and yes, he does. Hamilton to the top by a tenth of a second, and uh, proving why he is the new champion in IFMC. Hamilton top by a tenth ahead of, of uh, future Etihad employee Joseph Newgarden. In fact, a former teammate of his as well from Red Bull Audi back in season two. So, um, bit of nostalgia there for Hamilton as far as he's concerned. Kovalainen doesn't improve. The new recruited test driver, Suomi Grand Prix, remains in 14th place. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line, improves, but remains in 5th place for the moment in this session. Uh, so, now we look at Rubens Barrichello, who's 4 tenths down in the 2nd sector. Into the chicane he goes for the left, then the right, and then into the left he goes. As Barrichello now then goes up towards... The left hander on the track as uh, he just uses a tad bit of curb on the outside in towards the triple right hander he will go. And uh, so now into the section of corners and he goes. Barry Kello now then will be going underneath the, uh, the hotel as he will be soon approaching the final two turns 
on the racetrack and let's see what Rubino can manage he's currently in uh, in 20th so indications are he could be on for an improvement but we know that a lot of people tend to lose time in the last sector let's see if that's going to continue Barry Keller crosses the line he improves but remains in 20th position Sergio Perez crosses the line remains in 18th position at this stage on it but he improves on his best time Leclerc starting a lap here comes Scott Dixon in the uh, BAR uh, Dixon crosses the line and improves but remains in 17th place. He's now uh, matched Button's time as you can see. Both of them behind Hamilton by 0.665 of a second. Albon remains 15th in the EMR at this stage. Ricardo starts the lap looking to see if he can get up to where teammate Hamilton is in this session. Carlos Sainz Jr. rounds the final two turns and let's see what the Spaniard can manage as he will head down the pit straight and Sainz is going to cross the line and uh, Carlos Sainz Jr. goes up into ninth place so Sainz gets in front of uh, Sam Bird uh, at this stage now then here comes George Russell now then he's just going down the support pit straight Russell currently in 11th place uh, at the moment the man who's leading the F2 championship in real life Russell into the second sector three times down in the middle sector I don't think he's on for an improvement but we will wait and see on that Russell approaches the left hander on the track as he uses a tad bit of curb on the outside in towards the triple right hander he will go and uh, so now approaching the hotel section we will soon go into the left hander and then into the third to last corner there then goes George Russell as he will soon approach the final two turns on the track now then and Russell is soon going to cross the line let's see what Russell is able to do now then as he goes down the pit straight and across the line goes George Russell and uh, I need to stop thinking that I haven't got TV graphics on because I have and uh, Russell does not improve there and Russell remains in um, 11th place for the moment as uh, now we look at Leclerc and he remains fourth for the moment with that lap. And no improvement for the Monegasque as far as he's concerned. Can Albon improve? As we've got a yellow flag, it's down at the hotel section. So somebody's had a moment down at the hotel section. And it's Ricardo. Daniel Ricardo has gone for a crash in the Etihad down uh, underneath the hotel section. So Ricardo possibly pushing a tad bit too hard to improve on his lap there then. And has smacked it into the wall. Ricardo. Uh, we'll have to climb into the T car if he wants to improve. Luckily for Albon, he'd already passed. He had uh, already was in front. He was in front of Ricardo at the time, so he can still push, but he doesn't improve anyway. He remains in uh, in fifteenth place in this end of season test. Yellow flag still out at that hotel session. They're still busy clearing off uh, Daniel Ricardo's uh, Etihad Racing. As uh, De Costa now then approaches the final two turns on the track. Now then, let's see. What De Costa can manage as he will head down the uh, the pit straight, and uh, De Costa now then is going to cross the line, and he goes up to fifth of that lap. A really good time for the Portuguese driver. That's P5 for Antonio Felix De Costa that time by. As uh, now we will try and find somebody else on the lap. It will have to be De Costa again. It doesn't seem that anybody else. He's on another lap. De Costa now then. Let's see what his first sector is like. One tenth off Hamilton in the first sector now then as he makes his way round the bus stop chicane and up towards the hairpin. He will go. As uh, De Costa now then heading down the straight before approaching the uh, chicane on the track. And uh, so that's pretty much that then really. So any of you have a solution really on the... Uh, on how to stop overheating on your computer to the point where your CPU is about to be ran on fire. A little bit of advice for you, if you've got a spare fan lying around, just uh, plump it next to it, it really cools it down as you can see, it stopped the encoding problems as you can see. So um, just a little bit of advice there if, uh, if any of you uh, don't have the money to, uh, to get a new uh, CPU or just to get a, f a, 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 a specialist fan for your computer. So that's that really. So here comes De Costa now though, as he comes out of the chicane. And uh, De Costa now then, just going around the left hander as he now approaches the triple right hander on the track. And uh, he's currently fifth at this stage, looking to improve if he can, but he doesn't look like he's on the improvement because he was three times down 
in the middle sector there then as De Costa now then will approach the final two turns on the track and let's see what the Portuguese driver can manage and let's see what De Costa is able to do and De Costa now then is now about to power across the line and uh, De Costa does not improve means in fifth place uh, with that lap so that's that for him really as far as uh, he is concerned as Giovinazzi now then approaches the final two turns on the track about to start his next flying lap uh, anybody else on a lap behind him uh, Rosenquist is but he's two tenths down in at the second sector uh, judging from the history that the last sector usually brings I don't think Rosenquist is on for an improvement but we will wait and see on that as he now approaches the right hand on the track and uh, Rosenquist now then into the left hander he will go and uh, let's see what Felix Rosenquist is able to manage as he approaches the final two turns on the track now then and uh, Rosenquist is now about to power across the line let's see what the Swede is able to do and he does and he improves but remains in ninth place for the moment Schumacher remains seventh here comes Sam Bird in the Bud Light line as he will now go down the pit straight and Bird is going to cross the line and he goes 10th with that lap an improvement to go up into P10 for the Brit now then here comes Marcus Armstrong into the final turn he goes as he heads down the pit straight just over 31 minutes left of this end of season test here at Abu Dhabi Armstrong goes up to 12th an improvement for him there then Hamilton starts like the man that's currently at the top of the minute here comes Ralph Aaron can Aaron improve in the AMP and uh, yes he can to go up into 20th so he gets in front of Barry Kello at this stage of the session Giovinazzi 1.8 seconds down in the middle sector must have got held up on his lap and that's a not a good sign there then for the Italian Antonio Giovinazzi we're right on board with the Italian now then as he just goes around the right and left under on the track as uh, Gio now then just going around the section of corners as he will soon approach the final two turns on the racetrack. Let's see what Giovinazzi is able to do now then. Into the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes the Italian. And uh, this, uh, let's see how much time he possibly lost. In fact, it looked like he got held up massively. 2.2 seconds off Hamilton. Uh, woeful time there from Antonio Giovinazzi. New gun done it improve the main second. Here's Kimi Raikkonen in the Suomi. Uh, let's see what Kimi can do as he will now come down the pit straight and Raikkonen is now going to cross the line and is this an improvement? No it's not, remains in third place and speaking of Suomi of course there was a bit of news I should have reported on it's that uh, Suomi will be retaining Kevin Magnussen for next season as well with their test drivers being of course um, uh, <laughs> sorry I'm just trying to think actually uh, Nico Kari, uh, I think Patrick Kajala and Heike Kovalainen, I think, are the test drivers for next season. I think Vainier is now gone from that list. Schumacher doesn't improve, remains in 7th place. As uh, so into the final two turns then goes Armstrong, of course. Uh, into the final corner goes Marcus Armstrong, of course, as I mentioned. Uh, AM, uh, AMP are having Ralph Howen as one of their test drivers next season, as is Rio Harriento as well. He's left EMR to go to AMP, so they'll be joining Mick Schumacher next season. Neither uh, Armstrong or Hamilton could improve on their laps that time by. Kovalainen now then approaches the triple right-hander on the track. As we have just done the half an hour of the session remaining uh, for this end of season test. The final uh, 30 minutes, uh, 29 minutes or so for the, uh, the top class in season 4. And the final 29 or so minutes for the V10s in the top class. So into the final two turns then goes Heike Kovalainen. And let's see what the Finn is able to do as he goes down the pit straight now then Kovalainen is now going to cross the line and Kovalainen remains 15th for the moment with that lap Sebastian Vettel round the final turn let's see what the EMR driver can do as he plants on the power Vettel crosses the line and he remains 5th sorry 6th for the moment no improvement for the German Newgarden crosses the line and he remains 2nd place for the moment Verne does not improve remains 17th for the moment in this session as uh, so we now look at Jensen Button in the shadow as he goes down the support pitch straight and uh, shadow just missed out on ninth in the constructors championship uh, in Pacific that went to 
Monster Grand Prix now known as British Airways Racing so they will occupy the ninth slot in the pit lane next season it's not been the best season for Monster but it could have been a lot worse had it not been uh, for Waste Cuba selling the team to Daniel Macarmo uh, Daniel Macarmo taking over and the team have made progress it is clear to see but uh, only ninth has been able to to come by for the belt for the former Belgian team they will be a British team next season uh, as a result of becoming British Airways Racing here comes Jensen Button around the final two turns he will go on the track and let's see what JB can manage as he goes down the uh, the pit straight Jensen Button is now going to cross the line and Button does not improve he remains where he is at the moment which is uh, P18 at this stage now then Alban about to start a lap uh, we're trying to see if we can find somebody who's on a uh, lap it doesn't appear like it so we'll go to Alban then is about to start one as he goes into the sec last two turns on the track Alban down in 60 of the man Alban will be driving for EMR in GP2 next season alongside Nicholas Latifi so uh, essentially EMR have pretty much um, got the dams line up from this season it must be said because they are teammates in real life as well Alban and Latifi and uh, Pet and Albin will be taking part in the GP2 end of season test tomorrow as well with EMR so uh, he'll be able to try and do a good job if he can uh, that weekend as uh, now into the chicane now then the bus stop chicane goes Albin 400 off Hamilton in the first sector now then as he makes his way round the left hand and out and Albin heading down the straight before approaching the uh, the left right chicane on the track and Albin now then looking to try and improve on a lonely 16th place in this session we had a little bit of a drop of frames there I do apologize uh, for that uh, just a tad bit there whilst we were discussing a little bit about uh, Alexander Albin and Latifi being teammates as uh, now Alban heads down the support pit straight and let's see what the tie driver can do in the second sector three tenths down in at the second sector unless he can hook up a good last sector I do not think the tie driver is on for an improvement but we will wait and see as he just flicks the car through that 90 degree left hander into the triple right hander now then goes Alban and let's see what he's able to do round the right and then into the left hander goes Alexander Alban as he goes underneath the hotel before approaching the final two turns on the track now then Albin will come around the second to last turn and then up towards the final corner goes Alexander Albin as he will head down the pitch straight and across the line goes Albin now then in the uh, in the EMR and whilst he does improve he does not improve in terms of position so Albin remaining 16th for the moment in this session Sergio Perez comes out of the final turn heads down the pit straight and Perez now then will cross the line and Perez goes well improves but remains in 20th so Perez clearly struggling it seems at this stage of course Bud Light Line did not have a good end of the season and uh, it's clearly showing during this test as well Dixon remains 19th for the moment in this session here comes De Costa who heads down the pit straight and he starts his lap Russell about to start one as well as will Ricardo and uh, Schubacher. Here comes Carlos Sainz Jr. Around the triple right and there he goes. And oh, sorry about that guys, I had to have a little bit of a yawn there. Uh, Sainz now then. Into these next section of corners he will go. And let's see if Sainz can improve upon his 11th place in this session. Into the second to last corner and then up towards the final corner goes Carlos Sainz Jr. He's now the only Spaniard left in the top class as a result of Alonso moving to IndyCar and uh, signs now then across the line he goes and he remains P11 with that lap Armstrong about to start a lap here's Rubens Barrichello in the BAR as he now goes into the final two turns on the track and uh, not to be confused with the British American racing team from Formula 1 this is British Airways racing as uh, Barry Keller crosses the line, improves but remains 20 seconds. You see the whole pack only separated by 8 tenths of a second. So very close between the whole pack it must be said. You have to question whether some of them are pushing or whether they're not. Uh, that is kind of a question there you have to say. Rosenquist now then. Through these section of corners he will now go. And let's see what the Swede can manage. 
as he will approach the final two turns on the racetrack now then into the second to last corner and then up towards the final corner goes Felix Rosenquist as he will now head down the pit straight and uh, Rosenquist starts his lap now then De Costa currently on one De Costa currently in fifth place at this stage let's see what the Portuguese driver can manage and uh, De Costa now then heading down the pit straight and across the line he will go and he remains where he is at the moment which is um, where is it around? Which is P5 ahead of Sebastian Vettel as Russell remains 13th for the moment. Here's Daniel Ricciardo in the Etihad. He's now in the T car after that crash. He crosses the line. Can he get up there? And he goes up to third. So he doesn't quite make it an Etihad 1 2, but he does improve on his current time at this stage. So that's that then for Ricciardo. Here's Mick Schumacher into the final two turns. Goes the German. And I do apologise. Uh, for the drop of frames as uh, Schumacher now then heads down the pit straight and Schumacher does not improve remains in 8th place for the moment in this session and uh, the frames are continuing to drop it seems uh, so I'm trying to find somebody who's currently on a lap that will be Ralph Aaron in the AMP and uh, I do apologise for the drop of frames I am fearing the worst at this stage as um, Aaron now then goes around uh, the section of corners and uh, Aaron approaches the final two turns on the racetrack now then and let's see what uh, Ralph Aaron can manage as he goes down the pit straight as we ride on board with Aaron is this an improvement for him it isn't he remains where he is at this stage as uh, Rosenquist is about to uh, complete a lap himself and I'm going to try and switch it to 5G if I can uh, I'm just going to switch it to 5G for the moment uh, that might have been a little bit of a blip but uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad Rosenquist crosses the line remains in ninth. well improves at his best time but remains in ninth place in this session so uh, now we'll look at Marcus Armstrong in the Mars Grand Prix car Armstrong currently 12th uh, whether he'll still be attached to the Mars Grand Prix remains uh, a mystery at this stage. Hopefully we'll get some answers on that during the uh, the winter break. And maybe during IFMC IndyCar as well. We will wait and see. As Armstrong now then, round the right and then into the left-hander then goes the Kiwi. As he will now just go around the left-hander on the track. And then up towards the final two turns goes Marcus Armstrong. Uh, he now comes up towards the final turn himself and I'm um, still having drops of frames it appears and um, Armstrong now then across the line he will go and he remains in 12th place for the moment I'm hoping you can hear me of course because of the fan in the background I'm trying to cool my computer down at the same time or the CPU to be exact because uh, it was uh, running on pretty much on fire to be honest uh, which is why you had the encoding problems a little bit earlier in this session bird now then heads down at the pit straight and across the line goes the Brit and bird does not improve remains where he is at this stage as Raikkonen goes up towards turn one himself it seems that somebody else had completed a lap uh, behind him struggling to get to him uh, Vern I don't think he did do a lap in fact as uh, Giovinazzi starts a lap himself and um, trying to find somebody who's on a lap uh, Kimi Raikkonen we'll look at there then and he's 800 down in the first sector we'll probably ride on board with him in fact as we go around the Yas Marina circuit as he just goes around the left hand of now then as he goes down the long straight before approaching the left right chicane on the track and let's see what Kimi can do and uh, just over 20 minutes of this end of season test remaining and uh, we're getting close to the end of the season uh, four championship for the top class. It's uh, so now around the left hander. He goes, uh, goes Kimi Raikkonen. As uh, he now approaches the chicane on the track, I do apologise for the drop of frames. And uh, so now into the section of corners, he will go and uh, I kind of wish it would stop dropping frames at the moment it's getting kind of ridiculous it must be said Raikkonen now then into the triple right hander he will go and um, 
Raikkonen now then into the section of corners he goes on the track and uh, Raikkonen now then just going around at the section of corners and Raikkonen approaches the final two turns on the track and, um, and as you can see Raikkonen currently in uh, what is he anyway? Raikkonen currently in fourth place let's see if Kimi can improve on his lap as um, Raikkonen crosses the line does not improve remains in fourth place for the moment in this session Giovinazzi rounds the final corner and I wish it would stop dropping frames right now because it is getting quite annoying and uh, Giovinazzi now then up towards turn one he will go on the track and um, Giovinazzi um, did not improve there that time by as uh, Kovalainen starts to lap himself as uh, Vettel uh, and Button have started laps at that point new garden now then round the final turn let's see what the American can do as he goes down the pit straight and across the line goes Joseph Newgarden and he goes fastest he actually beats Hamilton by seven thousandths of a second so Newgarden goes back to the top of the timing sheets at the moment Perez starts a lap uh, behind him Albin starts a lap himself and a few cars are about to start one themselves here's Hamilton now then his middle sector is up on new gun by a hefty amount in fact two tenths of a second so Hamilton starting to respond to new guns pace it must be said as the track has started to rubber in just a little bit uh, in this session now then round the triple right and we will go and let's see what Lewis Hamilton can do now then as he makes his way into the left under and Hamilton now then through the left and then up towards the final two turns goes the Brit and let's see what Lewis can do as he now approaches the final corner and onto the pit straight he will go and Hamilton now then what can he manage can he go faster and he does but he lost a little bit of time in the last set only 600 is quicker than New Gun that time by so Hamilton going back to the top of the timing sheet jean Verne just comes out of the final turn and let's see what Jev can do in the GRM and Verne remains in 17th place uh, for the moment Kovalainen just coming out of the final turn and Heike Kovalainen is going to cross the line and he goes up to 15th for the, well he improves but remains in 15th because uh, Albin is still in 16th for the moment here comes Sebastian Vettel let's see what Vettel can do and he remains in 7th place during this test. Button remains 18th uh, for the moment. New gun going back into the pits. Here comes Sergio Perez into the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Checo. And let's see, can he improve from 20th place? Perez crosses the line. And no, he doesn't remain 20th with that lap. Albin crosses the line remains 16th for the tie driver. As Ricardo now then into the final turn himself. Here's Rubens Barrichello uh, up towards the triple right hander he will go as that looks to be his teammate that's currently behind him at the moment on the road so um, his teammate out at the same time that being Scott Dixon Barrichello now then into the left hander and now into the next left hander goes Barrichello as he will soon approach the final two turns on the track now then and let's see what Rubino can manage into the final turn and onto the pit straight goes Barry Kello and let's see how quick the time will be there for Barry Kello he crosses the line and he remains uh, where he is at this stage Dixon remains 19th for the moment Barry Kello remaining in last place at the moment I should uh, point out um, here is Jensen Button six steps down in the second sector it doesn't look like that JB is on an improvement but we will wait and see as Jensen now then rounds the triple right hander on the track into the right and then into the left goes Jensen Button he had he didn't have quite a good season in GP3 uh, this past season and uh, he will be again in GP3 this time with Shadow Racing alongside Felipe Nazza so it will be interested to see if Button could do our next season in IFMC GP3 uh, with his new team but we'll have to wait and see are we replacing Anthony Davidson who looks like he might be out of GP3 as a result Button crosses the line and he remains in 18th place for the moment in this session. Daniel Ricciardo into the left hander he goes. Ricciardo currently third. Can he get up to where teammate Hamilton is? Uh, try and make it an Etihad 1-2 if he can now then. 
into the final two turns goes Daniel Ricciardo and let's see what the Aussie can do then into the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Daniel Ricciardo and Ricciardo now then crosses the line and is this an improvement it is but he remains third uh, with that lap there then Russell starts a lap himself as uh, we look at signs again who's three tenths down in the second sector signs looking like he's not on an improvement and will stay where he is at the moment so just a reminder then we're just over 15 minutes to go here's what the leaderboard looks like then it's Hamilton fastest with New Garden in second followed by Ricardo third Raikkonen fourth Leclerc in fifth Acosta sixth Vettel seventh Schumacher in eighth followed by Rosenquist ninth Bird tenth Signs eleventh Armstrong twelfth Russell 13th, Giovinazzi 14th, Cover Line 15th, Albon 16th, Vern 17th, Button 18th, Dixon 19th, Perez 20th, Aaron in 21st, and Barry Kello in 22nd position. Let's see what uh, Signs can do then on this lap as uh, uh, Signs crosses the line and he goes up to 10th for that lap. So, in fact, he does improve. He goes up into P10, so he gets his shadow into the top 10 uh, at this stage of testing. Into the chicane goes Antonio Felix da Costa as he's about to start his next flying lap in a little bit. Here's George Russell, three touchdowns down in the second sector. Russell could be on for a similar improvement than what uh, Sainz was a little bit earlier on, but we'll wait and see as Russell now then makes his way round the left-hander using the curb on the outside before approaching the triple uh, right-hander. Just over 14 minutes of this qualifying session remaining to determine the, to... to uh, to the end of the season four IFMC Championship, uh, so so far Hamilton currently topping the uh, the session at this stage as we've just passed the six o'clock mark, and uh, we are 13 minutes away from the quarter past six mark. I would expect this session to round up at around about uh, four to hang on, four minutes to uh, four minutes to twenty, I would say. So um, that's that really, if uh, that makes any sense. As uh, Russell did not improve on that, that remains where he is at this stage. It is Charles Leclerc in the uh, in the Eldorado, and he improves but remains in fifth place for the moment, unable to get in front of Raikkonen at the moment in this test. As uh, we look at De Costa now, then De Costa currently in sixth place in the uh, GRM as he now approaches the left right chicane on the track now then as he makes his way around through these section of the corners using the curb on the outside there then as De Costa goes down the straight before approaching the chicane and uh, he's one tenth down in the second sector so maybe an improvement for the Portuguese driver we'll wait and see as De Costa now then goes up towards the left hander on the track using the curb on the outside as he will now approach the triple right hander now then and let's see what De Costa is able to do round the right and then into the left hander he goes and uh, let's see then De Costa now then approaching the final two turns on the racetrack now then and let's see what De Costa is able to produce now then round the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes Antonio Felix da Costa as he will now cross the line and he goes up to third with that lap a really good last sector for the Portuguese driver and it's P3 for Antonio Felix da Costa as uh, Verne is about to start a lap himself here comes Kimi Raikkonen into the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Kimi as he's about to start his next flying lap and uh, here is Ralph Aaron now then into the chicane Through the left-hander goes Ralph Aaron. The Estonian now then will approach the triple right-hander. Aaron currently in 21st, looking to improve on that if he can with just over 12 minutes of this session remaining. And um, sorry guys, if you can hear me stretching and doing all you be honing. It wasn't uh, a good night for me, let's put it that way. There's uh, Aaron now then going up towards the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes the Estonian and let's see what Aaron can manage now then as he crosses the line and can he improve he doesn't he remains 21st with that lap there then Sam Bird is crossing the line remains where he is at this stage as here comes Felix Rosenquist 
and he goes up to 7th with that lap, a really good time for Rosequist, that's P7 for the Swede in this test, as here comes Marcus Armstrong, just over 11 minutes of this testing session remaining then, Armstrong around the final corner and onto the pit straight he goes, as he goes down the pit straight, and Armstrong now then does not improve and remains in, uh, where is he, he remains in 12th place. So that's that for him really. Here comes jean Verne into the final two turns. He goes on track. And uh, Chef now then up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight goes jean Verne. Verne. And uh, Verne now then is going to come across the line. And he goes 15th for that lap. So a big improvement for Verne. He's now on the same time as Antonio Giovinazzi. So 15th for jean Verne. Hamilton behind him as you start the lap. Here comes Kimi Raikkonen. And Raikkonen crosses the line to go up to third with that lap. A really good time there from Kimi Raikkonen. That's P3 for the Swami driver. That probably might put a smile on Yumi Marta's face, I would think. Perhaps, who knows really. Here comes Antonio Giovinazzi now then. Up towards the final two turns. And let's see what Gio is able to do as he goes down the, uh, the pit straight. And across the line then goes the Italian. As Giovinazzi crosses the line and Giovinazzi remains 14th. For the moment, New Garden across the line remains in second place for the moment. Sebastian Vettel about to start a lap in a little bit. Here comes Ralph Allen into the final two turns, then goes the Estonian. And let's see what Allen can do now, then, as he heads down the pitch straight and across the line goes Allen, and he does not improve. Remains where he is at this stage. Here comes Mick Schumacher now, then, he's going to cross the line and he does not improve. Remains where he is. Uh, at this stage as uh, Hamilton looks like he's getting held up now by jean Verne so that's not going to help the Brit out uh, in terms of improving on his 1 minute 34.707 uh, at the minute as uh, we are 8 minutes as we're 7 minutes away from the quarter past 6 mark now then in this session Hamilton now then approaches the right hander on the track and uh, I apologise for the drop of frames as uh, now Hamilton Let's see how much time he's possibly lost as a result to jean Elliot Verne holding him up. Into the final two corners then goes Lewis Hamilton. And uh, Hamilton now then around the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes the Brett. As he will now cross the line. And he does not improve. Hamilton stays where he is for the moment. Here's Joseph Newgarden. Round the triple uh, right hander, he will go. The sparks continue to fly at the back of his Mars Grand Prix car at this stage. New Garden now, then flicking it in through the left hander. And now underneath the hotel, let's see if New Garden could try and get back to the front ahead of Lewis Hamilton, uh, an employee of his for next season. Into the final two turns, then goes Joseph New Garden. Let's see what the American can manage as he goes down the pit straight and across the line goes Joseph Newgarden and where's he going to place himself he does not improve I mean second for the moment uh, with that lap uh, so Sebastian Vettel does not improve I means eighth for the moment in this uh, testing session Alban his team at about sort of lap button four temps down in the second sector could be on for an improvement but we'll wait and see button now then, just going around the triple right. I know he has made one appearance this season in IFMC with Eldorado Racing. And that did not end particularly well for Button, finishing outside the points and a couple of mistakes. But uh, the, the, the speed and the talent that Button gave clearly is still there within him. Uh, so now Jensen will approach the second to last corner. Up towards the final corner then goes Jensen Button. And let's see what the, uh, the British veteran can manage now there as he goes down. The pit straight is just an improvement then for Jensen Button. It isn't, he remains in 18th place. Lost quite a bit of time in the last section. Kovalainen now then goes out of the final turn. And let's see what a Kovalainen can manage. And Kovalainen does not improve. Kovalainen remains in 16th place for the moment now then. As now we look at Lewis Hamilton, who's just coming down the pit straight. Hamilton across the line he goes. No improvement means on a 1 minute 34. Point seven oh seven uh, for the moment. Barrichello about to sell up, as will teammate Dixon. Uh, so now we look at uh, Alexander Albon. We ride on board with the tie driver. He took part for EMR 
in the uh, young driver's test as now he approaches the left right chicane on the track before it takes him onto the support pit straight. Very interesting to see how Alvin does next season on his return to IFMT GP2. Uh, EMR did not have the best season in GP2 this season, losing both of their championships after some poor form. And they're looking to try and reclaim it next season in season 5. As Alvin is three tenths down in the second sector. Could be an improvement for Alvin, but we will wait and see on that now then as he approaches the left hander. As he uses the curb on the outside there, then round the triple right hand, there goes the tie. Uh, so now he will approach the right hander. And uh, last start then, really, is uh, Alban round the left hander and then up towards the final two turns goes the tie. Can he improve on his lap now then as he will approach the final corner onto the pitch straight then? goes Alexander Albin and let's see if he can try and get the car into the top 10. Albin crosses the line and he improves to go up into 11 so he's just outside the top 10 but it's P11 for Alexander Albin uh, at this stage as Sainz just goes around that right hander and uh, now we look at Rubens Barrichello into the left and then into the right goes Rubino as he's currently in 22nd just under a 10th behind Paul Aaron in, the, in this session down the support pit straight then goes Rubino as now let's see second sector six tenths down and uh, doesn't look like well could be but uh, it'd be very interesting to see if Barrichello is able to improve on this lap as Barrichello now then round the triple right hander on the track as let's see what Rubino can manage now then as he just goes around these section of corners now then Barry Kello is coming around the left hander on the track now then and let's see what Barry Kello can manage then up towards the final corner goes Rubino and is this going to be an improvement for the Brazilian now then Barry Kello across the line he will go with just over five minutes remaining remains in 22nd position so still in last then for Rubens Barrichello now then as we now look at Scott Dixon in the other British Airways racing car Dixon uh, remains in uh, in 19th place at the moment so the BARs towards the back end of the field as Perez goes up into 18 so improvement there for Perez but still not great for Checo here comes Daniel Ricciardo is this an improvement for the Aussie across the line and it is he goes up to second so it's an Etihad 1-2 Hamilton ahead of Ricciardo at this stage of testing here comes uh, Aaron now then as he's about to start his next flying lap here is Sainz as Albin gets the checkered flag next to his name so Albin's session has come to a close as Sainz now then just goes around the triple right hander on the track round the right and then into the left hander then goes Carlos Sainz Jr and let's see what the Spaniard can produce now then up towards the final two turns then goes Carlos Sainz Jr and let's see what he is able to do now then as he will approach the final corner and onto the pitch straight then goes the Spaniard and Sainz now then is about to power across the line and he does not improve remains in 10th place for the moment his former teammate now Charles Leclerc goes up to 6th for that lap a big improvement there for the Monegasque as we now look at George Russell Let's see what Russell can do in the Martini. Russell crosses the line and Russell remains 14th for the moment. Antonio Felix de Costa, who's currently 5th for the moment, is this going to be an improvement for the Portuguese driver as he makes his way into the final turn and onto the pitch straight. He will go now then. De Costa crosses the line and he remains 5th for the moment in this uh, session. And uh, so now we look at Ralph Aaron as he will now approach the chicane. And he's five taps down in that second chicane at the stage. Through the left, then the right, and then into the left under we go. As we will now approach these section of corners. Aaron, uh, don't know if he, will, if he will be on an improvement, but we will wait and see as he makes his way round the triple right under on the track. Round the right, and then into the left under goes Ralph Aaron. As he now makes his way down towards the left under on the track, the final few turns on the racetrack now then Ralph Aaron uh, let's see what the Estonian can do with just over three minutes of the session remaining the Estonian now then rounds the final turn and onto the pitch straight and Ralph Aaron 
is about to power across the line. This is an improvement for him. It isn't. He remains in 21st position at the moment, second to last uh, at the moment in front of Rubens Barry Kello. Mick Schumacher now then. Uh, not on an improvement as it seems. It looks like he's just doing a bit of a mileage run for AMP with this Mercedes engine. AMP having a lot to learn when they move to when they switch to Mercedes next season after four seasons with Audi. Um, just doing a little bit of that. It won't give him an exact reading because it is a V10 they're running, not a V12 uh, that they will be running next season. So they're just getting a little bit of data to see how Mercedes operates and all that sort of stuff. As now Schumacher now then goes into the final two turns, same with Mars Grand Prix of Ferrari as well. Schumacher now then around the final turn and then onto the pit straight and let's see where Mitch Schumacher will end up now then. The German crosses the line and he remains uh, in ninth place for the moment in this session. Marcus Armstrong now then around the final two turns and let's see what Armstrong is able to do now then as he goes down the pit straight now then Marcus Armstrong is about to power across the line and he remains where he is at the moment which is 13th place so that's that for him Sam Bird will now come down the pit straight with just over two minutes to go in this session Bird does not improve remains 12th for the moment in this session here comes Felix Rosenquist into the final two turns on the track goes to Swede and let's see what Rosenquist is able to do now then around the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Felix Rosenquist as he will now come across the line and remains in seventh place and so not really much of an improvement there for the season four IFMC GP2 champion Felix Rosenquist. Here comes jean Elliot Verne now then as he's three temps down in the second set to Verne currently in uh, in 16th place so it could be an improvement we'll wait and see we're just over one and a half minutes away from the end of this test now then Aaron has now got the checkered flag next to his name so Ralph Aaron's day has come to a close as uh, Verne now then in towards the right hand he goes on the track and then into the left then goes jean Verne, Verne and let's see what he's able to do then on this lap around the left hander as he will soon approach the final two turns on the track and Verne now then into the final corner and onto the pit straight he will go now then as uh, Verne can he get the car a little bit further up the field across the line he goes and he does, he goes up to 13th with that lap, so a big improvement there for Verne, but still outside the top 10 in what could be his last appearance for GRM, unless GRM decides to give him a testing role for next season, but we will wait and see. Armstrong now then, just under a minute now left in this testing session, as now Schumacher gets the checkered flag, that's his name, Mick Schumacher's session has come to a close. Marcus Armstrong now then, across the line he goes, and he remains where he's at the moment in 14th. For some reason, in the championship that uh, he's racing in, which has got Tank Tictum in it as well, he's listed as an Italian. I think that's because he's got an Italian passport, from what I understand. But he is from New Zealand. Uh, we can clarify that. He is from... Uh, he is a Kiwi, uh, before anybody thinks he is purely Italian. I think that's just because that's his passport. He has an Italian passport, I think, or he's got a background in Italy. Um, not 100% sure uh, why he's got an Italian, but I think that's probably the two reasons why that could be. 17 seconds to go, then on the clock. New Garden on a lap and doesn't look to be on an improvement. So, as New Garden rounds a triple right hander, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, soon, 3, 2, 1. Zero checkered flag is out, and that is the end of the session. The end for the season four IFMC championship and the end of the V10s. As now, Joseph Newgarden now then comes up towards the final turn. Now then, and let's see what Joseph Newgarden is able to do now then. As Joseph crosses the line and he doesn't improve, remains in third place with that lap. Raikkonen remains fourth. Here comes Antonio Giovinazzi now then in the Martini. As uh, Gio now then crosses the line and goes up to 12 for that lap. So a big improvement on his final flying lap. Vettel will be given one lap because of how GPX patch works. Here comes uh, Lewis Hamilton now then as he will come around the triple right-hander. As uh, now jean Verne Verne gets the checkered flag next to his name now then. Lewis Hamilton in towards the hotel section. Can he find one more improvement to improve on his 1 minute 34.707? Let's find out, shall we, as he goes in towards the final two turns on the track now then. Lewis Hamilton now then approaches the final corner and he'll soon go onto the pit straight. And Hamilton now then is about to power across the line. And uh, Hamilton now then, let's see 
and he doesn't improve. I mean, so 1 minute 34 points foot. 0.707. Here's Jensen Button on the lap now then. Let's see what JB can do. Lewis's fellow compatriot. Round the right and then into the left hand. There goes Jensen Button. He's currently uh, in 90. Can he find a big improvement on his final flying lap now then? Into the final two turns he goes. He will be competing in the GP3 and the season test uh, with Shadow Racing. So we will be seeing him in two days time. Button now then. Round the final turn. Onto the pitch where he goes. Marcus Armstrong now gets the checkered flag next to his name. Button. Across the line he goes, and he remains in 19th place. Kovalainen remains in 17th with that lap. What about Sergio Perez in the Bud Light line? Perez crosses the line, and he remains where he is at the moment. Raikkonen is, in fact, on another lap, it seems. GPX patch allowing him to do another lap, it seems. Raikkonen now, then, round the right-hander as he will come up towards the final corner on the track now, then. Raikkonen goes down the pitch straight, and across the line goes Kimi Raikkonen. And uh, as you can see, he crosses the line and uh, he remains in fourth place. Vettel now then, can he improve on his eighth place now then as he heads down the pitch straight. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line and he does not improve and remains in eighth place. And that, I think he's going to do it. There you have it then. That is the end of the end of season test for the top class and that is the end of the V10 era for these guys. Uh, here is the results then, as a result, it was Hamilton fastest with Ricardo second, Newgarden in third, Raikkonen fourth, De Costa fifth, Leclerc sixth, Rosenquist seventh, Vettel in eighth, followed by Schumacher ninth, then it was Sainz tenth, Albin eleventh, Giovinazzi twelfth, Bird thirteenth, Verne fourteenth, Armstrong in fifteenth, and then it was Russell sixteenth, Kovalainen in seventeenth, followed by Perez eighteenth, Button nineteenth, Dixon twentieth, Aaron twenty-first, and Barry Kello in 22nd position so we will wait for Vettel to go back into the pits it should then take us back to the main menu we will then give a recap of what the results are and I'll just double double click on those results uh, very quickly uh, so they're up on my screen and as I do that of course it decides it gives me an encoding uh, message when I do that clearly uh, it's not handling uh, that at this stage but um, there you go it's, it's buggered off now um, clearly not doing well loading up it seems when it comes to um, loading things up so Vettel now then just goes around the left hander as mentioned he will um, go back to the pits we will reveal the results and then we will end this live stream uh, there then and uh, end the season four IFMC championship right there then and uh, of course you know what usually happens when uh, we finish uh, this particular live stream anyway so Vettel in towards the second to last corner he will now come back into the pits which he does then into the pits comes Sebastian Vettel and uh, it should uh, take us back to the main menu screen uh, which it will in a bit yes it does so there you have it then that is the end of the end of season test for IFMC a reminder then of what the leaderboard looked like it was Lewis Hamilton fastest with Daniel Ricciardo second Joseph Newgarden third Kimi Raikkonen fourth and Tony Felix da Costa in fifth followed by Charlotte Claire in sixth Felix Rosenquist seventh Sebastian Vettel eighth Mick Schumacher ninth Carlos Sainz Jr tenth Alexander Albin eleventh Antonio Giovinazzi twelfth Sam Bird in thirteenth with Jean-Luc Verne fourteenth Marcus Armstrong fifteenth George Russell sixteenth Heike Kerverline in seventeenth Sergio Perez eighteenth Jensen Button in nineteenth uh, Scott Dixon twentieth Ralph Allen twenty first and Rubens Barrichello in 22nd and last. So there you have it then guys, that has been it for the IFMC end of season test, it's the end of the V10 era for IFMC, I hope you've enjoyed it, it has been uh, quite an interesting day of testing and uh, don't just remember of course that will probably not reflect the pegging order for next season, of course, of course we do have the new regulation changes for next season so that could all change for next season so those times could become irrelevant but there we have it then. That has been it from the end of season test for the top class. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you then, guys, tomorrow at a later time of 6 p.m. BST due to the qualifying session at Hungary for Formula 1 for the GP2 end of season test. Only 10 teams will be taking part in that due to Willow's Grand Prix having the uh, end of season test ban due to their part in having the budget, budget error for Martini. But uh, there you have it then, guys. That has been it. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching for what has been a, not the best of seasons for IFMC in Season 4, but it's still produced some, some memorable moments either way. But until then, guys, that has been it. I hope you've enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching. I've been JWF1, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the GP2 and the Season Test. Until then, take care.
What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me Expectations they keep